So let's have a little look at the opening title sequence because I've noticed a few things I wanted to bring up with you. All this looks normal, right? Construction table, planet, outline of a spaceship, polar bears. Oh yes, perfectly normal. Hammer, nails, right? I haven't done, haven't done that yet. Flint, okay. Haven't really seen Flint in the game. There's our dropship. All good. Understood so far. Now, 3D printing. Maybe, maybe later. But look at this. What is that? That was an alien. I don't think we've seen those. Now there's more. Okay, this will be the exotic material. Okay, I understand. But what's that? A little ladybug and a butterfly. Where are they in the game, please? I want more of those things. Aliens. Oh, and mushrooms. I haven't seen those either. Okay, well, molten gold over a heart isn't necessarily something I'd expect in this game. But there are a few things in this sequence that I think they intended to be here that aren't just here. Anyway, that's how I thought I'd start this. There you go, you see? Giant alien bug eye. Okay, well, I think I'll just go for the uh, swifter movement. Allows me to run away from things more bravely. Right, well, that's been added to my inventory. Right, well, I think I'll try something a little different. This is one of the brand new mission types that they've recently added. It's basically a supply stockpile. And I have to basically, I think, grow stuff and send it up in the dropship. So let's give it a go. ACS just put a contract up. They're building a new station up here and need raw materials ASAP. You uh, able to oblige? Why not? I've got nothing better to do. Well, everything else I've already got loaded here. Now, this is the the item I just unlocked, the mass dampener module. I can run away from bears a little bit faster. Um, oh, there you go. I thought it hadn't taken. And that'll do. Let's go. They're building new facilities in orbit and need help on the ground. Someone who can source raw materials, process them, and get them up to space in one piece without getting dead. Sure sounds like you, so check your HUD and roll out. There's a farming shipment and a hunting shipment. Now well, this is a little bit different. What do I have to do? So basically just, I don't know, I I've got to grow my own stuff or just give it to them? But until I get there, I won't know. So I've got to get to these locations. Let's check them out. We, where even are we? Ah, we are here. This one's pretty close by. Can we just get over there, like, really, really quickly after I've gathered up a few things and just find out a little bit more about what we've got to do once we're there? It's given me a very unusual amount of time to get this one done. So maybe a very long episode. Maybe I'll break it into two. Um, but it, it looks, it sounds like I've got a produce some farming plots which I haven't done before um, and as interesting as it is I'm gonna use that as uh, experience more experience for this game and I just hope to God it isn't filled with more disaster I typically find I get myself in all kinds of troubles can't be much further now no, really close oh, it's a beautiful place Maybe that's why they want me here, is that out in the open, things are growing pretty well around here already. What the hell? Oh, look at that! That's the first time I've seen anything like that! How cool! Have I got a new friend? All you gotta do now is get that stuff back to orbit. What? I've gotta give them 250 carrots? 200 pumpkins? say what the f, f are you kidding right we're gonna have to grow a lot of food here i understand now oh my god right and there's something i will have to obviously unlock then which is a farming plot something i don't have anywhere so under the tech tree i'm sure i've seen this crop plot right here brings the food to you so what do you need wood wood and sulfur for that that's not too bad 
Okay, well we'll take that for now. Oh, and I already see some sulfur over by the by the cliff. They've put me in a very good spot for that. Must be deliberate. No wonder they've given me nine days to do it. No, why now? This is going to take a long time. Oh. Six-day missions usually take me about two or three days. It's going to be a long video. I mean, I won't put you through all of the... the I mean, I'm not going to make you... I'm not going to make you sit here and watch plants grow. I mean, that would... I've got to do it, but, you know, I, won't, I don't need to... Get, I don't need this all to go through it. But, like, sulfur is going to become a huge resource. I don't know... If, is sulfur just to put in the ground to let the plants grow? I mean... Shouldn't that be like potassium or nitrogen or something instead of sulfur? <laughs> Would sulfur kill it? Quite like the idea of this. When, when, I've, when I've loaded it up, I guess it will just like rock it back up into the sky. Now that's kind of cool. Something we've not seen before. Gonna have a gonna have a high base. Off. You cannot kill me. Now, it's, I'm having too much fun today. Oh, God. Okay. This is not what I signed up for. I could have just grabbed the arrows out of his face. Oh, 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 we got a corner window. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Check that out. I'm going to have to cover the whole thing with floor. Jesus, I need a lot. Okay. I'm going shopping. There it is. Enough shelter just... Right, now we've got double doors. It's the first time. Ha oh, ha It's my home. It's not bad. We'll we'll do the roof and stuff later on. But yeah, I kinda like it. Right, what do, what do I need to take care of next? Can we craft the crafting bench? No, of course not. We need more fibre and wood, so I've got to go out and get that soon. Okay, right, I'm going to fit this place out with all the tools and amenities that I need. I've got to build crafting bench and other stuff. Oh, who put that up there? How did that happen? <laughs> it's a little sunshade for the window. Neither desired nor required. Don't know why I did that voice. I'm sorry. Farming plots. Let's discover this crazy thing. Here it is. Awesome. How many should I do? We start off with four. We're going to need a lot more, I'm sure. Hey, where do I stick them? No idea. We'll have to play by ear. There we go. go now what do we do with it device inventory seed oh huh where do we get seeds from <gasps> I'm cooking all the mo I'm cooking all the pumpkins do I have to just eat them to 
find the seeds in them or do I have to hack them open? Get the seeds out of them. Is that what I have to do? Do I have to carve it open? Give me the seeds. How did you get the seeds out? Wait, before... Uh, you see, I was just about to go Google it. And you have to believe me, but I did figure this out. I came over to the crop again. And I stuck... I stuck that in it. And it starts growing, look, all by itself. I think. Well, it was. Look, it's doing something. But that's going to take, like years before anything happens. Do I have to give them any berries? Yeah, I've got to give them berries as well. 300 berries are probably collectible. So let's stick watermelon in this one. Look, there you go. Look, this little plant just appeared in the middle. So we've got we've got watermelon and mushrooms. Sorry, mushrooms? What are they called again? Pumpkins. That's the, that's the thing. At that rate, it's going to take Years. I will be here for years and years and years. There must be a faster way. There must be a faster way. Well, we've already got some carrots. That's kind of good. So what we've got to do? Just load it all up with all of the items. Will it? Will it all fit in there? Details. Details. Um, I've stuck down an oxygen thing, an oxi oxi oxide dissolver. It's filling up my tank. Uh, and I think I've got some more I can stick in there now. Let's do that. Now, that's the other annoying thing, is this also takes sulphur. We're going to build a few more of those crop plots. We're going to need a lot more. Well, there's gold in these hills. Sulphur is gold today. Right, well, I've been out here on the hunt for some sulphur, because I think I'm going to have to build just absolutely masses of the, uh, the plant or the crop plot things so I've just I found a cave we may have a little fun oh god I turned out the torch I didn't mean to do that I meant to drop the torch let's get it in there drop it down when they pop up then we got something to shoot at all right one down right withdraw now, I've got the poison damage, but it's not going to last much longer, so we should be all right. Go back in, and hopefully... Oh, this guy. How do I kill him? Ah, right, well, there we go. All right, that did it. Another one. How many more of these losers are there going to be in here? Oh no, I think that's it. We cleared it out. So what do we got? I think we got some copper and we got some iron. So I'm going to spend a little time just mine this out. Uh, we need to appropriately drop our... Our flame. Wow, that's in an awful spot. But... I just think why I'm waiting around for things to grow. Might as well experiment with some of the other dynamics of the game. I might as well loot the whole place, right? Then I don't need to come back here. Oh god, no, no, no. Do not die here. God damn, that was close. No, he knows I'm here now. I'm s no. Get out. I can't get out. Ah! Completely stuck. Oh, you absolute fucking asshole. Now, when I come back to get my stuff, I've got to... I've got to avoid the... Oh, there's a storm as well. How? <laughs> I still couldn't get up to level 28. Oh my god. Right, I can't afford to not have some items on me because we're going to need... Oh boy. We're going to need to craft at least a repair hammer. How's my little farm doing? So I figured something out that... Well, things grow in them, but I'm going to have to have a lot more. See, we've got watermelon on this one, but we've got some pumpkins growing there. Uh, can I craft one yet? Yes. This will be required. Now I built some windows as well, so this is kind of cool. I like the animation. <laughs> You've got a stick to hold your window open. Now I'm wondering if it adds a little extra protection to the walls. So far, it's holding up. 
but I'm get the trouble with building something as big as this place is <laughs> it's probably a really bad idea. Simply because I have a lot of things to repair once it oh it's raining inside, look at that. There we go. So we've got some damage being done now. Alright, so I think all my repairs are done. Let's open the windows up again. And get away from the stormy weather. I've had to put them on this corner here, and it, the thing is, it kind of spoils the view. Not that great. The windows, still, they serve a purpose rather than being aesthetically pleasing. Oh boy. Right, off to go find my stuff then. Somewhere. Over here. Where's the cave? Ah, oh, here we go. Found the cave. Can already hear wolves. What are I going to do? Maybe just rush in and grab it. Oh, the worms aren't even here. That's kind of good. Okay, let me sort out all my stuff. In a minute. I got everything? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, good, good. Well, I got some more sulfur to find, and we know there's another cave really close to camp, so I'm gonna get back and build a few more. A few more crop plots. Probably got a load of iron. A little bit of copper and the sulfur here. Oh no, a little bit of spoiled meat. Now I've decided I'm going to concentrate <clears throat> on one crop at a time. I think it might be the easiest thing to do. The berries I'm just going to go around and collect while I'm waiting for things to grow. But this this particular mission is going to take a hell of a long time to get done. So it's not one I can rush. This video has probably come out whew, many days after the last Icarus video. I'm sorry about that, but it's just the way it goes with this. Okay, and another thing that's interesting is that the, once you put the pumpkins in here, they don't start, they don't deteriorate. So, very useful. Uh, let me go and drop off all this ore. And we'll build a few more farm plots. What's the max? 11? Is that all? Oh, I need 10 sulfur for each one. Oh, okay, well, we've got to find some more then. Oh, there you go. You seek and you shall find. <laughs> All right, that's great. That's enough for another 11 slots. That should be oh, it's probably still not even enough. And they seem to grow so damn slowly. It's been like a couple of days. Right, it's the it's the next day now, obviously. <laughs> and you may have noticed I've got all those crop plots on me. Now I've had to put them in my toolbox. I think that's what I need to be able to put them down. But they don't stack, which I think's a little odd. Still the game we're playing so uh oh look at this i think my crop's ready to harvest it is and it's produced two two really right i know now what i've got to do and let's get down shit loads of these things So, to, to, to put the seeds in, right, you just select the thing, then do this, and it drops one in, but it doesn't, like, do and need anything else. There is a seed in there, and there's a tiny little green speck there. I've got to do that for all of these things. It's just lay a seed, then take it back out. And you notice that there's five in my inventory here. When I drop it here, it drops down to four, but I can take that back out, and it's still in place. So, we basically are going to multiply our crops every time we do this. Right, let's go and get the others, and I'm going to have to repair that bloody thing again. Right, let me just grab all of these and lay the whole lot down in the storm. This is what real farming is, you know. You have to do it, you have to do it the hard way. <laughs> but it's, it's a really nasty mechanism for, for being able to to lay it down. I suppose I can use control clicking.
Now, while I'm doing this, of course, my house is getting destroyed. Right, that's a full crop of pumpkins. I've got to just reach the dropship and drop the rest of these in here. I might as well. Stay in there. And go and repair my house. This is the, the next part, really. I've just got to wait. <laughs> I've got to wait for this to to grow. I mean, I suppose I can go and... I can try and find more sulfur and... And more wood. Build some more of these crops. Oh, we'll check this out. I might as well scavenge for some while I'm around as well. Get some of the berries done. So that was a pretty good run. I already got... Well, I suppose it's all of the berries I've collected so far in the game, but 160 out of 300 berries already done. So we're nearly halfway. <laughs> Only halfway. <laughs> this is going to take so long. I'm not sure this mission design was very well thought out, to be honest. So what do we do in the meantime? Um, well, maybe we go craft some metal things. Let's see what we can do. Actually... Maybe I'd convert this house into a stone building while we're waiting. Or I could go hunting for more sulphur. Oh, the possibilities are endless. In fact, there was another cave nearby to explore. Just over there, I think. Right, we're in a bit of trouble. We're in a bit of trouble. There's a lightning storm coming, and I'm panicking. I'm completely panicking. I've, uh... I need to craft a lightning rod, and I don't think I've even... I don't think I've ever, ever crafted one. Where is the damn thing? It must be in here somewhere. Oh! It's a storm coming. My house is made of wood. This is not good. There it is. There it is. There it is. We need ten copper ingots. Oh, have I got even enough of that? How many do I have on me? <gasps> I got seventeen. I think I've got enough. Do I need... Do I need the... The bench to craft it? Yes! Oh, come on. Get in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, stick that down. I, I built the anvil bench as well. Right, stop talking. Get on with it. I need to get outside and stick it somewhere to avoid getting hit by lightning. I think I've got to put it on the roof. Let's put it like there. So, we might be about to witness our first lightning rod controlled experiment. Oh, it's coming. The storms are brewing. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, it's, except I'm not having fun. I'm terrified. I'm going to get attacked by a bear, probably, just standing here watching this. <gasps> oh. I don't know what that hit, but thankfully it wasn't my house. This is a science exp... Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making strange noises. You should hear me at a fireworks display. Wow! Still going on. What's that? Jesus Christ, it was just a deer. Terrified. To put Jesus out of me. Wow! I wonder if it's uh, struck my... my crops. All right, well, as you can see, I collected enough berries. Uh, we now have 300 berries in there, which was all right. I just went out wandering to get them. And uh, I've also replanted all of the crops here. Thankfully, these don't suffer in the storm at all. But uh, they, why are they not, why is that not growing? That one's not growing. Why are none of them growing? What's happening? What's going on? Huh? What? No, I left these. I've left these here for like two days. I think I've hit a bug. Hold F to empty crop plot. All right, we've emptied that one. Let me go grab something. See if we have to replant it or something. Which would be a right pain in the ass if that's true. Right, and now it's starting to grow. The hell? 
I wonder if it's because I ended the game and reloaded it. So what have I got to do? Actually leave the game running. Until they're fully grown. That's ridiculous. So I've been just doing this. Control click, control click, and it plants the seed. It's not the most elegant of ways, especially if you, if you want to do a lot of these. But then I suppose they don't rely on you doing huge amounts all at the same time. Right, well the whole patch... It's now been replanted, and it means I can't end the game if that bug is a big one. I'm going to have to look it up, see if it's a known issue. That's a real pain in the ass. I love the way that the bonfire actually casts the light all across the house. Which is why I kind of put it in the middle. I thought it looked pretty cool anyway. Anyway, look, I'm not going to carry on repairing stuff because I want to do something else. I've got the the anvil, right? The anvil's been crafted, so I'm going to stick that guy here. And I think it means we can craft... Okay, nails. Oh, yes, and I unlocked the iron knife, so I can do that as well. But we need nails. Uh, masonry bench, that's the that's the one I want. So I need some iron, iron nails for that and a lot of wood and rope, but I can deal with that, no problem. Basically, I want to turn this house into a stone house. 120 iron nails. Jesus Christ. Uh, iron nails. 12 times 10, that's 120. Bang on! That's exactly the amount I need. There we go. 120 iron nails in the bank. Thank you. So, we can now... What else do we need? Uh, 12 rope. 80 wood, fine. Let's craft a rope here. Get that going. And I'll go chop down some trees. Oh, look at that. Bit of windfall. Okay. So, got the wood, and we should have enough rope now. We can craft ourselves a masonry bench. This is the first time. There she is. Alright. Let's stick this down somewhere inconvenient. Where are you going to go? Let's stick you over in between these two windows. Very cool. So this now allows us to build stone beams and floors. And of course we need more iron nails to do that. In a way, it's not bad. I suppose it gets me to explore the game while... I'm waiting for crops to grow, but I'm really pissed off. I reloaded the game, and all the crops' progress just stopped dead. Really, really irritating. And we got another storm rolling in, maybe this time. Maybe this time we'll catch a lightning bolt hitting my conductor. Holy crap, it worked! Mind you, it's destroyed. I didn't think that... I didn't think it would destroy the lightning conductor, though. That's not cool. Why would you do that? I don't have enough copper to make another one. Oh, dear lord. No, 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 no. I've only got seven. It's not enough to craft another one. I need ten. Oh god, my house is going up in flames again, isn't it? Fire whacker on standby. Is it over? I think it's over. Okay. Right, well, there is something else I need to do. Look at that. It's beautiful. Sort of. Right, we're going to the other cave that's over here. Now, a very interesting point about this cave. I had to dig my way through the entrance. You'll see in a minute. Check this out. So, we need... <laughs> we definitely need more copper. My poor little house. Now, I know stone can't catch fire, but I think the game would be evil enough to make that a problem for me. This is... The interesting bit is inside here. I had to hack my way through 
We get worms in the cave, of course. We we'll just back out. I'm going to go back in with this. See if we can bag one of them. Gotcha. Right, anyone else? Gotcha. He's done. The third one. I'm taking the punishment. But I'm also taking him out. Okay, this... Hopefully, is a pretty big cave. With lots and lots of resources. Sure looks like there is tons here. Wow. Huge amounts. We got some great, great resource in here. This is huge. Okay, there's more. There's more of them. He's down. I think that's it. Hard to see, I know, but... First priority is more copper. I'm stunned. Oh, that's platinum. Oh, crap. Aluminium and platinum. Oh, it looks the same. I think this is copper. Oh, thank God for that. Right, I picked up a few squashes. So we'll keep them in long-term storage. There we go. We've got ten squashes now. Ready to plant when we get going. And, uh... I've got a bit more sulfur, so we might be able to create a few more of the uh, plant crop point things. These are getting close to being harvestable. Right, lots of stone. Now, I, I have been I, I'm thinking ahead if I'm going to convert this house into stone. Um, I'm storing a whole load of it over here. We will probably need it. Another lightning rod. As good as that was... It only lasts one hit. I can't believe that. But it saved my house, so it was worth... Totally worth it. Beautiful. Right, got back and I have an absolute ton of iron ore on me, so let's get that cooking first. If you can call it cooking. We've got a load of copper ingot there. That's enough to make another one if I need to. Another uh, lightning conductor. Let's just let these things also carry on. I'm going to put this aside. Lovely. Sulfur and oxide if I need some more gas. But this is good for other stuff. Oh no, I'm going to make some more of those. I'm going to make some more, aren't I? I can make five more. Probably a good idea. There we go. So, some harvesting to be done. You don't need to see this. It's is, it's is plain and boring, but um, I got four from that one. Not bad. So, it's a control click to give us over there. Control click and control click and it's and it's done. But that's about the easiest way of doing it that I've found. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, but it's it's what it is. All right, they're all replanted, so we've got now 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. I will, I will add some more. I think um, it's probably a necessity. When I find more sulfur. Now, I heard when this mission, this mode first came in, right, <laughs> I would be so pissed off if I had found this at the time. I just wouldn't play it. I wouldn't play this mission at all if this had happened. But apparently, the decomposition still occurred when it was inside the cargo here. <laughs> it's just like, well, what's the point? You can never get enough. You can never do enough to keep up with it. So, I just, I just wouldn't play it. I'd exit, go do another mission. It would be ridiculous. But I am determined. This this particular mission should give you so much more reward than I think it does already. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, time to work on the masonry bench. We need... Um, if you look at this, we, we need iron nails. We've got loads of leather. That's all good. But we need loads of iron nails to be able to build our stone things. Use the anvil to craft 40 iron nails. It's a good start. And that will allow us to start building our 
are stone things. I mean, I probably made this building way bigger than it should be. But I'm going to start with the foundations and I can even build an iron knife now. Right, anyway, masonry stuff. Now we need stone to build a lot of things here and I happen to have a lot of them. So I'm going to build... Um, stone walls, I think, even though the floor is wood. In fact, we'll, oh, would that be a big mistake? I don't know. But it's it's the roofing I really want to get done. Like a wood, a stone roof on a wooden wall will it just collapse? <laughs> oh god, I hope not. But I want to make this place look a little bit more decent. Um, so let's do. We can do eight walls. Why? What's the limiting factor here? It's the wood itself. Oh, there's a bloody storm. Another storm. They honestly, they overload us with storms. It really is a little bit ridiculous now. Right, here's our, our stone walls. Now, this is the interesting thing. I think this is interesting. At least I hope it's bloody interesting. Uh, stick that in slot 7. Now, there is a tool you can craft. And it's called the building upgrade tool. Okay? Fairly straightforward, but it doesn't work unless you've already got the items that you need in your inventory. So, I have the stone walls already. And I've got my building upgrade tool here in slot position 8. So I think if I hit R, yeah, there you go. I can upgrade this to a stone wall. There you go. We have our very... F Why won't it stand still? What's wrong with that? Does it need to be on stone found... I think it might need to be on stone foundations then. Bloody stone foundations, are you kidding me? Right, well let's have a few of those. That makes sense really, you can't, you can't put stone walls on wooden floors. Maybe that's the problem, does it have to be everything? You have to start from the ground up. Foundations, floors, then stone walls, then stone roof. We've got to learn this the hard way. That's right. Is that a foundation piece? It's not. Now it is. Okay, that's good. Get rid of that. Can we stick you here? Well, it's not shaking this time. The ma oh, maybe it just needed a wooden foundation. We can test it out on another piece. Uh, I kind of like that. Right, so if I want to swap this one. Yes, or at least it means I don't have to, I don't have to build specific pieces. That's not so bad. So this will be our our test of whether that will survive. Okay. It's because it was it was tenuously placed. So we don't need stone foundations. I've wasted a little time here. Oh, it makes it quick if I just do that. I don't know why I had to select it on each one. Okay. It's fine. We learn the hard way, don't we? Well, I do. How many more wood walls do I need? Sorry, stone walls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay. Now, let's start replacing from here. Actually, this tool... I'm beginning to see the benefits. I was dubious at first. Alright, that's all the walls done. So we now, let's take a look at this from a distance. We now are beginning to see a very, very strange looking building. But I, I, I like, I like what we're doing here. Now I'm going to make sure I, next I aim for is the roofing pieces. Um, I might have to do flat floor sections. Not quite sure. It's such a big roof. I'm wondering if I should do two floors now, but I think that might be a bit overkill. Right, well, it turns out we had exactly the right number of nails, really, that we needed. So, um, it's looking pretty damn fine in the sunlight like this. So, let me go... Oh, actually, I forgot to grab all the pieces, of course. Let's get this guy there. Got the floor. Uh, need the foundations outside for now. And my fire whacker. You can stay in my inventory, right? 
makes these these windows on the outside look a little bit weird now I'm looking at them. So, uh, number seven. I think we put you there. And we're going to have to rotate this one. To go there. Perfect. And we're going to have a number nine wall right there. Well, what do you think of that? We sort of need to... Uh, a tiny little half angle roof piece. Oh, I think they do convert into half size roof pieces. Maybe, maybe I can do that. So let's have the middle piece. Number seven. Uh, no. Please. It's quite simple. You just go there. That's right. Uh, yeah, so stone. Oh, look at that. We can do this angle top thing. Aha. That's much cooler. Well, I've made a few home improvements, and I think you'll agree. This looks pretty nice, actually. I'm quite proud of this one. Um, still got the weird wooden wall down there. But anyway, let me take you on a little tour uh, inside my beautiful house. Uh, this fireplace right in the middle keeps the whole place warm. Bed at the back. Don't know why. I haven't got anything better than that. Um, and I've got, of course, all of my stuff lying around. The textiles bench. Now, of course, the masonry bench. Couple of chests. Crafting bench. Oxide dissolver. And my anvil bench. So... That's pretty cool, but I thought it was quite nice to have... Oh, no, wrong side. Quite nice to have a, a, a ladder here. We can we can go upstairs. There's an upstairs. I know. Isn't this cool? This is where all the ghosts hang out. And uh, I can look out here and I can, yeah, I can even hunt from this window if I so choose. Yeah, so there you go. That's my house. It's pretty cool. I know. I know. Be impressed. I am. <laughs> my my own creation but then I suppose part of the game part of waiting around for crops to burn and uh, of course we've got a lightning rod the last storm destroyed it so I've put another one up there um, but let me go and grab this uh, this meat and then I'm going to plant all the crops again I've already done uh, all the berries and the, the the pumpkins are pretty much done got 192 out of 200 so I think I can gather the rest from the ground so what I'm going to do next is plant as many uh, how many do I need watermelon let's get let's get a load of watermelons done and I can't do that many of them but uh, as they as they as they grow so will so will I but this is, um, I don't know this game mode, this particular mission, I don't know if I'm a fan, it's its a little bit drawn out really. I mean, it's nice to be able to have find an excuse to do some proper building though, so perhaps that's the draw of this particular mode. If you're playing solos like me, um, it's, it's, it's not so bad. Now I don't know how many watermelons each produces, but the, the pumpkins, there was a chance of like getting four pumpkins done. So maybe, maybe there's a chance we'll get something similar. So that's all of the watermelon. So I guess what I'll do now is just stick down a few carrots because we're going to have to get how many of those? 250 of them. Jesus Christ. I don't know. If I, did I store any away? No, none at all. So we'll do carrots and watermelons. And as, as I've been finding sulfur, I've just been building more of these crop plots. I don't know. I, quite, I, I just quietly have enjoyed just... Oh, what did I do? I left them in there, didn't I? I've quietly enjoyed sort of just relaxing in this game mode. So maybe I'm... I'm still undecided as to whether I, I like it. But it's certainly, it, it's certainly not an easy one to make a video for. Because I've already spent two days. Maybe even three. Playing this mode. And uh, I expect a lot more. Okay, there we go. So carrots done, watermelon done, a few empty plots, and there's a bear. Of course there's a bear. Can we take our chances? What are the chances of a shot from here? Slim. Oh god, I pissed him off. Yeah, at least that hit him. So did that. I don't know how he manages to hit me. I 
like that. <laughs> well, we got him anyway. Trying to sidestep, but I get I get all panicky. Man, I nearly died as well. That was close. Okay, it's getting a little close for comfort now. <gasps> no! Oh, you little sod! Any progress again? Go on, eat your friend. Go on, munch on him. Oh, you're not interested this time, are you? Got a little limp. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I get to spawn right here, so... There he is. That's what you get. Right. Now, after all of that... Oh, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What is that symbol? I've never seen that before. An extremely infected wound from its attack. Counter with anti-parasitics not removed on death. What? <laughs> what is that? Right, well, I'm going to consume my... Uh, <coughs> my suture kit. But... Parasites? Anti-parasitics? And it'll last me 570 seconds. Bloody hell. I think in my panic I've dropped my knife. <gasps> no. No. It's not here. Did I drop it in the water? That would be far too lucky if I was able to find it in this lot. Oh, I must have panicked just pressing all the buttons. Oh, damn it. That means I've got to build a new one when we get back up to the ship. Us. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, that might give me an excuse to build an iron knife. Now, what do I need for that again? Uh, six iron ingots. Where did I keep all the ingots? There we go. <laughs> yes, you little beauty. Right, well, at least we can craft this and play around with it. See, uh, every cloud. Right. Mr. Iron Knife. Let's see how good you are. Oh, there's my knife! Oh, <laughs> it was underneath the wolf all along. Woohoo! Oh, joy. So, this game mode. It means I've got to wait quite a while for growth progression. There's nothing else to do but kill a load of animals. Well, not going to lie, this episode is taking a long time to prepare. My god, and we've got a storm coming in, so oh, it's going to be lightning again. I don't know how well a stone house holds up against a lightning storm without a lightning conductor. So I'm going to put that to the test, probably stupidly. So, um, we've got a couple of things going on. The crop growth, I confirm, breaks if you are, well, if you end the game, that sucks. Really does suck. So we're gonna, we're gonna just empty these out annoyingly. And uh, as you can see on the left-hand side, we've got pumpkins are done. Berries are done. Uh, watermelon, nearly done. So I'm not gonna grow any more of those. We've got a lot of carrots to get, so I'm gonna do that next. Um, and then we're gonna do the squash afterwards. So the carrots stack up to 100, it's ridiculous, where everything else only stacks up to, to 10. I don't know why it does, it just does. Okay, so we're going to bear... <laughs> this is the bravery of the day. And I will, um, I'm just going to plant all of these. And I'll be back in a second. Oh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Wait a second, there's something out there. It's an effing bear. No. Those are my stone step bear. Not happening. <laughs> Can't even see him. Poking his head. Come on. Oh god, I have to go around the side. Let's get him from here. He's done. <laughs> oh well. You're dead, man. Stay still. Okay, kind of got him. Got himself a little glitched in there. I'll take all of that. 
that. Give me all of those. So, <clears throat> there's a couple of things I wanted to do. And I'm going to do them with you. <laughs> As you may have noticed, I used my crafting bench to create a cooking station. Where is... Oh no, machi uh, machining bench. This is the one. So, <clears throat> no, no, right, let me start again. So, as you may have noticed, we got a cooking station. Now, this is a brand new item. I've never built it before. Um, but at the top left, um, I've unlocked these. I guess these are certain recipes, but there are resources and deployables and all sorts of things you can do with your cooking station. And the first thing I did was create some animal fat. You just put in some raw meat. So I put in six raw meats. They don't... It doesn't look like they... I mean, can you even eat them? You can't eat you can't eat raw fat, which would probably be a good idea in a survival situation. You probably could. However, I've got six of them. And the reason why you want fat is because of this recipe here. You need animal fat and cream uh, and corn. And I haven't found corn anywhere on this map yet. So I I, I don't know why I quite did that. But anyway, I've got, I got a surplus of pumpkins now. And there's a wild salad you can create with pumpkins and squash. Or the fruit salad with watermelon and wild berry. Sadly, I don't have a surplus of melons yet, but I'm hoping to gain some by getting out there and exploring, because I only need like 15 more. Oh yeah, crap. I, I placed this on here. You don't have to put it on the cooking station, but this is a mortar and pestle. And from here, you can create crushed bone with a single item. Uh, bone, of course. And I don't know why I created 50 of them. I had a lot of bone on me. But this is the kind of cool thing. You can create some epoxy um, from just crushed bone. But there's another recipe for epoxy here where you can use tree sap and sulfur. So I guess if you were in the desert biome, which would you use? I mean, you almost always have a lot of bone on you. So, well, most people do. Again, these are there are more that can be unlocked in the in the skill tree. But the reason I wanted to do that is because I want to craft a machining bench right here. So I need some stone. Fine. I've got enough iron nails. I went out caving. Got loads of them. Um, there was there's a couple of caves nearby. You've seen the story. You know what happens. Go in, shoot worms, mine, mine, mine. Bring it all home. It's all good. So I've got enough rope. I need uh, iron ingots. I need, I need another 20. I've got 20 already in the crafting table here. And I'm hoping that I had some more here, but I don't. One thing I can make is this epoxy. So I need 10 of those, and I should just be able to convert that straight from the crushed bone. But let's do 10 of these. Right, well, we've got to wait for things to grow anyway, so I may as well go hunting for more iron. Now, there is a cave. Very, very close. In fact, there's a couple of caves really close that I didn't know about before. I think one of them is just around the corner here. This one here. Yes, here we go. Aha, right. So I don't think I've explored this cave yet, but we are here on the map. Right stuck in the corner, but we should get a little shelter. Now, as you know, we're going to have to expect a few worms. Difficult to see until they get their faces open, ready to receive one of my arrows. That's two of them. Um, I'm just going to start mining now because I, I need, what, 40 pieces of iron to make 20 ingots? When mining by candlelight, always aim at the bit of ore that is nearest the light <laughs> first. Otherwise, it's in for, forever in shadow. They haven't yet developed a lung condition. Normally, being in the cave this long, you do. But I suspect it's because we've got daylight up there. So there's a good amount of fresh air in here. This is a safe cave. The other good thing about mining is it's, it's really good for XP. And of course, I've been stuck on level 27 for bloody a week, two weeks. It's gotten a little silly. Oh, wow. 
storm did some havoc out there. Okay, anyway, we've got enough we've got enough iron for what we need. And while the world is on fire outside, I think this is uh, like aluminium. Got gold up there. Good cave for different types of resource. The stalactites. I hadn't seen those in the game before. This is a great cave. Wow. Anyway, let's go get eaten by a bear and ruin all our progress again. The whole world is on fire down here. The hell happened? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No one saw a torch. I was not running through the forest with a torch in my hand. Oh my god. I've never seen anything so devastating. Melting straight away. Not bad. Might need to nick a little coal from here. Oh, there's only one piece left. Oops. Somebody left a fire on. Hate it when people do that. Don't know if that's going to be enough to get through all of that. So, well, we'll have to find some more coal. Oh, and I also built this, because I realised I'm going to have to move uh, when we when we do the second half of the mission, which will be probably in the next video, because this one's taking so damn long to make, that we'd need some building material. So I've built uh, probably enough for a 2 by one sized house, which could fit a bed in, maybe the crafting table, and we can expand from there. So we went for just um, 20 of these, then we can get on with our, our new bench. Right, there we go. So we've got 20 of these now. I can... I don't have to have them here, but I can stick them in the crafting bench. Uh, we need those 10 epoxy and we need 12 stones. Let me go grab those. Let's do it. Machining bench. We are going into the electronic age, people. In a stone house. <laughs> Let's just wait for that to be crafted. Our very first machining bench. Now I might put it right here. Straight in the middle of the floor by the stairs. Let's go there, my friend. Wow. Check this out. We've got schematics. Designs. Look, there's a there's a design for a shotgun at the back there, so I think you know why I'm excited. So far we can build steel screws and a steel rebar. Um but there must be all sorts of uh, menu items. If I come into tier 3, the machining bench has now opened up this whole category, except we now need to be very selective of what we pick. So, a basic wall light, um, but it needs power, so we've got to think about how we power stuff too. What do we need for one of these? Oh, this is a sort of achievable, except I can't mine steel yet. Oh no, hang on, how do you make steel? That's out of iron. Iron and something else. Steel bloom. Well, that would make sense. Oh, you need iron ore and coal ore to make the steel bloom. Steel bloom must be must be the way to create steel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool. We're getting we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're figuring it out. Savage at short range. Well, that's usually when when I need it. So that's unlocked. Um, oh, hang on. We're going to need to make ammo for it as well. Well, of course we are. Buckshot shells. Copper ingot, epoxy, and gunpowder. Gunpowder. <laughs> what the hell? How do we make gunpowder? Sulfur and charcoal. We've got plenty of charcoal and I've got enough sulfur. So gunpowder is not going to be a problem. And it looks like we use the mortar and pestle for that. Right, so we need to make steel bloom. That should be the next on our list. There it is. Let's make six of those. Complete. Six steel blooms. No idea how many I need, so I've just made six. Now what do we do? Can we put this in here? It says I still can't... Craft steel here so what's this for <gasps> I've got to make a concrete furnace an insulated high temperature furnace for smelting a wide range of materials 
including steel. Well, that's what I need to do then. Oh my god. Right, well that's, that's something we can do at the machining bench. Now we need concrete. So there's another item that I don't have yet. Thank you, YouTube. Apparently, you do need to craft the cement mixer. Which, uh, which uh, ironically can actually craft <laughs> a concrete mix. So we need some iron nails, 20 ingots, 40 stone, Jesus Christ, it's a lot of stuff. I'm glad I built this house this size now. <laughs> I was thinking I was rattling around inside it, but yeah. Definitely much needed. Shut the door. Raining cats and dogs out there. Actually, it's raining bears and rabbits. Here she blows. The cement mixer itself is going to look lovely inside a house. <laughs> oh my god. Suppose we could snugly put it here. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. At least I can still get to everything. So, cement mixer, what have you got for me? Bit of concrete mix. I see. So we need silica ore. I think I stored some away. And we need some tree sap. What is that? Tree sap? Oh yeah. Okay, it looks, looks almost the same as the epoxy, except of course he's just written in child scribble. So, how many can we make? Six. So what's the... Oh, look at that. Uh, we've got working machinery. <clears throat> this is so amazing. <laughs> we're going to need a lot more. Uh, right, we've got to find some silica ore now. Wow. Oh yeah, that was another cave. I don't know if you knew that. It's right by my house. Right there. I think this particular mission is driving me a little crazy. To be honest, it's all the waiting around. Because I, I haven't been able to record unless I can sit and let the game run and be sort of around for about two hours each time and th that's the thing about this this particular mission it's it's a pain in the bum the the stockpiles missions I suspect they're all the same and this will most definitely be the last time I do one because they're, they're too slow I mean but ha having said that you see now I'm about to argue with myself it has given me the opportunity to explore some of the other building items. So maybe I should just stop talking. Oh, I leapt out of the water there like Aquaman. Just give me all you got. Alright, 30. Look how quick it is. Now what do I need? Stone. Oh my god. Right, I don't have any stone now. I quite like doing this, but I'm, I'm thinking it's very hard to to make a YouTube series unless I just played all day and just did the highlights or something. But it's a mission like this, man. No, oh, come on, give me give me some fast-paced action. <laughs> uh, maybe that's what this particular mission is all about. It's about slowing down, taking your time. And enjoying the world in all its lovely features. Right, I don't want to push my luck with my carry weight. I think my carrots might be ready. So, how about now? Eleven. <gasps> That's going to be enough. I have. I'll, I order eight, please. Okay. What was the final thing on the list? got the rope on the go and the ingots I should have. Yeah, the rope's here. Ingots, have I got enough? <sighs> nope. We need more iron! Well, we're getting close. <laughs> we're getting very effing close. Right, so let's put the epoxy in here because we'll need that. The 12 concrete mixes, we'll need that. Oh, 20 concrete mixes even. Let's take the rest. Uh, where are you? There you are. Stick that over there. So, we just need 12 
iron effing ingots. So yeah, we're very close to the steel age, but we need this concrete furnace. So, uh, what do I want to do now? Apart from end my suffering, we, friends, are gonna go harvest the carrots. Because they're ready. Alright, I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in a minute when I've done it and probably have to replant. Okay, so I've been out mining and we've got a whole load of more iron ingot now. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. I've got some coal or loads of it actually. Uh, loads more iron ore here that I haven't put in the in the smelter for now. Um, what was it I said I needed to do next? <laughs> I've totally lost it. I've completely lost it. Here we go. So, ah, there we go. The concrete furnace is ready to go. Let's do it. Beautiful. Uh, it just feels like it was built so quickly it, it just doesn't do it justice. Oh my god, this thing is massive. Also, jeez. Now let's, let's put it somewhere logical. <laughs> right, you're going in here. My, my house has now become an industrial zone look at that check it out we can now craft where's the steel why can't i craft steel ah oh, there we go steel ingots i just need steel bloom to make ingot what you only need the steel bloom to make steel i thought i was going to need iron to make steel because that's what steel's made out of so we need to make a bit more how many steel ingots do I need to craft a rifle? 26. Right, so we've got our six steel ingots. Stick them there. Now we can do steel screws. If I do one, do I get a hundred? Is that right? Huh, a hundred screws. So now we only need 26 more. Oh, you can do it with iron ore and ingots. Oh, well what's cheaper? <gasps> stop, stop the process. That's going to make 15 of those. We've already got five, so that's 20. We need six more. Oh, wow. Right, four epoxy. That's in the bag. Now it's just the 26 steel ingots. So we need 21 more out of this. Yeah, and this is going to be it. Finally, there is 21 steel. We've, we've pretty much skipped the Iron Age and we've gone straight to the Steel Age. And stick that all in there there it is shotgun crafted <gasps> wow and we got a level up as well finally level 28 that is beautiful right where are we gonna put you we'll put you in number nine. Oh, no bullets though i can't wait to face off a bear at this with this thing oh my god Right, well, uh, my, my next layer of carrots is out there maturing in the dirt. So now we need to know how to build bullets. It's going to be a whole load of stuff. I've got to go and mine again. I'm sure of it. Shotgun shells. You need copper ingot, epoxy, and gunpowder. Did I figure out how to make gunpowder? Right, we need that anyway. Gunpowder, sulfur, and charcoal. I mean, I'll be happy if I can just kill a bear with a shotgun. That's all I need to do. It's all I want to do today and copper ingot how many have i got of those just got the three but i think i'll activate that and get a little more but let's build our first shotgun round there it is <laughs> how many can we do two shotgun rounds that's one for each barrel except i think it's a single barrel shotgun oh, oh. we got ammo oh, 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 oh check this out right where's that bear gone Two shotgun rounds. What are you guys doing in here? Not bad. Wow. Okay, I'm not getting in the water. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, uh. There's the sulfur. The forest burns, releasing the carbon back into the atmosphere. No wonder this is a terraforming project. I think it's working. Man, I'm already regretting the, the amount of time this is going to take to edit. <laughs> this is going to be a long video, people. 
make six. Six bullets. Oh, check me out. Oh, look at that. It's an eight. Eight bullets are already loaded, which takes them out of my inventory, which is a really, 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 really cool idea. Now, I want to find a bear to kill. I don't want to waste a bullet on a wolf. I want a bear. I mean, it's a big deer, but that's just not satisfying. Right, we're going hunting for bear. And then we're going to come and harvest this lot. Gives us some time. <gasps> oh, you legend! Right, how are you gonna? F how are you gonna bear up to this? Oh! Oh! In your face, bear! I love it. I want. I want another one. I want another bear to kill. Mind you, that was two, two big bullets. I mean, we might save the shotgun for some bigger animals, but it's not going to happen in this mission. This was just an experiment. At least we get some more bone. How cool was that? Oh, I'm so excited. I enjoyed that far too much. Well, what do you think, guys? I mean, we are stepping up into a brand new age. Except as soon as I leave this planet, it's all over. Oh, we got a bison. Let's see if we can sneak up on the bison. Hey, Mr. Bison. Uh oh, uh oh. He's got wind of something. It was probably me in the excitement. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's my new favourite toy. The power. I think it's gonna overcome me. I'm, I'm becoming, I'm becoming corrupted already. Right, let's go to good old-fashioned bow and arrow for the wolf. You don't get to play with my shotgun, Mr. Wolf, because you're not special enough. No. <laughs> oh, this level is doing things to my mind. I'm now becoming a homicidal maniac. I might just eat the meat raw. Let the blood drip down my face. <laughs> oh, we should have had the heart of the buffalo, really, shouldn't we? Oh, boy. Well, do you know what? I might... I might end this episode here. We've, we've had a pretty good, successful run. Uh, we've got not enough watermelon yet. Need seven more. That's fine. One or two patches of watermelon are out there with their name on it. With my name on it, even. Uh, probably their name on it as well. Uh, we've got carrots on the go. And as soon as the carrots are done, I'm going to do the same thing with the squash. And that will take another few days of my life but i might i might just get to that point so that we can start the next episode with a successful harvest but that will mean that the next episode will contain the second half of this mission which is to go on a hunt and i'm hoping it just means get loads of meat like lots of the stuff Meat, maybe bone, that kind of thing. And that's okay. We've got, like, a load of resources here. That, some of which could be transferred. I, I may have to come back here. I mean, we're, we're talking a long, old, a long old trek. But not so far that I couldn't do that in, like, half a day. And I've got a shotgun now, so I don't need to be afraid of anything. <laughs> I just need to be afraid of actually gathering the resources. I need more copper. To make more bullets and i can't wait to get a whole barrel full of bullets okay so guys thank you so much this episode we've done a, a hell of a lot of evolution of my own character started with a wooden hut turned it into stone we've got we've got the machining tool now we've reached the steel age um it's this pretty damn cool i'm i'm super excited i hope you enjoyed it and, um, well, I'll be back very soon with the next part of Icarus. I say very soon, complete lie, because it will take me at least a week to record it. So, <laughs> all the best, take care, and good night.